already installed on my laptop so I just click on wind here scared at it's, now it's opening it's already open now I'm gonna create a new project it's very simple just click in here and you will name any name for example I will need name scared FIR first so now I will just create tags before creating tags I want to clear you that there are two options available in every scatter software there are two types of tags and one are internal and one are external internal tags are that tags that are used within the scatter software and external tags are tags that you're getting outside the scatter system that mean you are getting from the OPC some PLC like S7 300 you see here, S7 400 maybe 200 or Modbus RTU Profinet. So these will be because outside the PLC, the, uh, sorry, outside the SCADA software, they will be called external tags. But if you create internal tags that are in tags that are available inside the SCADA, they are not linked with outside the SCADA software or SCADA system. So we are going to create two tags here. Well, the first one is internal one, tag one, and here we will create new tag, and then we will name them. First will be speed, and the second will be temperature. I will rename it temperature, and now we will close close that, and we will see again in this tag here connection manager. These are already there. So now we will create screen to show that tags or to display the values of that speed or temperature. So we have to create one screen. I will place two text boxes. One text box for getting the value of temperature and one for getting the value of speed. I will put two cages also. This one uh, will be for speed, so I will show the speed here. To show the speed, we will put the one gauge. We will get the input from this text box, and we will display uh, output here on the gauge. And here, similarly, what we are going to do, we will take the input from that the text box for the temperature, and we will display that one here. For speed, it's look fine to have a gauge like this circular but for temperature it's not the best choice so I will change the appearance and the style or gauge type I will go to the linear and I will select the thermometer from here now we having different options I will select black will apply and finish you can resize it now here if you want to change the style you can change it mm, we're having different options okay, whatever you like you can actually choose I will choose black and white and I will apply finish now I will associate the tags for that we will get the input from this particular text box the input input will be for speed and here we are gonna get in. Uh, we are gonna show the speed value here on that particular gauge so I linked already now I will get the input from this particular text box so I will go to the properties value and what value you have to associate or what tag I have to associate it will be tag 2 this tag 2 is not updated yet let me go to the screen again and I'll check why it's not updated. So now it will be updated because it was not properly written. Now, if I will go to screen, I'll check, get a value, and now it will change the value and because we need to rename it. Now it's temperature now. See? 
before what what was happening because this was in writing mode we didn't in hit the enter button there that's why it was not properly updated and we were not getting the updated tag now we have already updated tag we are sending this we are setting the value here for temperature so we have already associated value of the temperature for that now I, I'm gonna choose a background image for that it's very simple go to screen properties background background image I'll select this image that is already there on my desktop so it's ready now guys for testing we will just test it here we will press runtime press OK now we are gonna enter some value here 44 see the value of 44 is shown on the cage if I change the value of 55 it's, it's already changing there if I put 55 here it's okay it's changing here on the temperature scale also 77 it's going to change it so that's it that's very simple to getting started with scatter software next we will talk how to make the reports in the scatter software and how to work with scripting in the scatter software this was for you if you don't know anything on scatter software you didn't work on any scatter software it's just basic understanding for the scatter software thank you for watching if you like the video press like button down there available on YouTube put your comments if you need to see more videos or you want to see some particular topic that you're looking for I'm here to help you for that hope so you like my video thank you for watching